are not aware but I am a diehard popcorn junkie. Uh, matter of fact so much so that my everyday carry knife must include a toothpick just for that reason. So there's something about popcorn that brings me back to my childhood. The method that I use is probably not the healthiest method out there and it really comes down to the oil. I always use vegetable oil so if you're looking for a healthier popcorn uh, just swap out your oil for uh, coconut oil instead of vegetable oil. So for the items and tools we need, we're going to need some popcorn seeds. We're going to need some sort of oil, whether that's vegetable oil, canola oil, coconut oil, you know, whatever, you, pick your poison. Uh, some sort of pan. I prefer pans that have a little bit of a thicker bottom on them. It seems to distribute the heat a little bit better and there's less risk of burning the popcorn. And then you need some sort of lid for that. The pan that I'm using is, uh, well, it's one that my wife pretty much lets me use that has been beat up and used for years and uh, it, it's just become our popcorn pan. So the very first thing I do is I pour in some oil. I just pour a thin layer across the bottom so when the time comes that I pour seeds in, every seed is in some sort of oil. It doesn't have to be submerged all the way under there because that's quite a bit of oil. But you just want just a thin base of oil across the bottom of your pan. And then I'll usually throw in two or three seeds. Now turn on the stove to a medium to high heat. Uh, I seem to be able to get away with a little bit of a higher heat if I'm only doing one batch of popcorn. However, if I'm doing another one right afterwards, I have to have a little bit of a lower heat. So once your test seeds pop, you know your pan's up to temperature. Then we start pouring in our additional seeds. I usually shoot to have a little bit of space between the seeds, but I create one flat layer pretty much that goes across the bottom of the pan. So now we've gotten down to the most critical part here. We want to crack that lid. We're trying to contain that oil so it's not splattering everywhere, but we want to try to allow as much fresh air into that pan as possible. This is where you end up getting a lot of your old maids. As the popcorn pops, it'll be pretty jumpy at this point, but it'll start filling up and it will not have that jump and now you can actually take that lid off. Like I said, the, the more air that you can get exposed in there, the less of the, the old maids, those half popped kernels happen at this point. So get that lid off as soon as you know those kernels aren't gonna start popping out and spraying all over your kitchen. Once it gets up the top and you start hearing maybe a two to three second gap, you know it's about time for it to be done. And you wanna dump this into some sort of metal or ceramic bowl. So really a, a pretty simple process. I think there's just a couple key things you have to pay attention to, you know, getting that lid off, letting that air flow in there. So hope you guys enjoyed the recipe. If you're looking for a little extra entertainment uh, to go along with your popcorn, uh, me and my daughter put together a little, you know, 15, 20 second clip here at the end. She pretty much wrote the story and I may have added a couple little touches into it. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.